Welcome to a new vlog. So a while ago I compared the uh, TS100 soldering iron to the uh, STM32 T12 based soldering station and the results were uh, pretty interesting to watch. If you haven't seen that video it's vlog 186. There will be a link appearing on screen right now. Now, as we all know, the market is flooded with uh, counterfeit or replacements for hacko tips. So I've always uh, wondered how does a genuine T12 cartridge tip compare to a replacement or a fake hacko tip. So today we're going to test a uh, genuine T12 tip versus a replacement one. Now, this is my uh, genuine tip. I got it from a uh, hacko authorized reseller. The cost was $20 shipping excluded as you might notice it says t12 right here uh, but uh, don't worry there is no difference between t12 and t15 tips except they use a different uh, numbering scheme depending on the market where they sell it so it's t15 for the eu and us markets and t12 for asia as far as i know this video is sponsored by jlcpcb.com who in the past months upgraded their manufacturing line so they are now offering 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper than any other place so it's definitely worth checking them out. And this is our replacement uh, tip. It's the same style, the J02 tip but it's uh, branded Kesger and I got it from uh, AliExpress for under $4 with free shipping. So let's uh, take a closer look at uh, these two. They seem very similar. I have the T15 on the bottom, the uh, T12 case girl on the top. And they seem very, very similar um, up to this point. They're almost the same length, but I can see the T15 is just three millimeters longer right here at the tip uh, or should I say the T12 case gear is 3 millimeter uh, shorter than the genuine tip. Both tips have about uh, one hour of usage uh, to allow some uh, burning so they can get up to full spec so that's why you're seeing some uh, some discoloring here it's because they've been uh, running. The uh, genuine tip has some laser etching here. It says uh, HECO lead free. Of course, these uh, tips are designed for lead free because uh, we're not supposed to uh, use those leaded uh, alloys anymore, uh, but they work just fine. And I'm pretty sure you can find uh, these uh, T12 ones from AliExpress with the HECO laser etching as well, but that doesn't mean they are genuine. And for those uh, interested in the actual length of the genuine tip, it's about 15.5 millimeters and uh, the fake one is just 3 millimeters shorter. Let's also check the weight. This is the T12 tip from AliExpress. It's 7.45 grams. And this is the Heiko genuine tip. It's almost 8 grams. So the um, fake tip is half a gram lighter. I'm not sure of the variations here I should have more tips to test maybe half a gram is an acceptable variation between tips even from the same batch or even from the same genuine batch I'm not sure maybe you can um, uh, measure the ones you have at home and uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of measurements uh, you have for the actual test I will be using my STM32 based uh, station that you've seen in previous uh, videos. This works with T12 tips and it's a really good station. And uh, first I'm going to measure how long it takes for each tip to reach 300 degrees Celsius at the tip using this special thermometer. The station is set to something like 370 degrees Celsius but we're only going to be measuring uh, the time it takes to reach 300 degrees Celsius. Both tips have been uh, uh, tinned and then uh, cleaned with this uh, special paste. Uh, I will put a link to this in the description below. It's great for tinning and restoring the shine on your tips.
Next, I will do a test that I have devised in a previous video. It involves using a predetermined uh, equal amount of solder to stick each soldering iron tip to a PCB pad and let it cool down and harden. Then I will uh, turn on the soldering station which is set for 300 degrees Celsius and measure the time it takes for the PCB to detach from the soldering iron tip which is suspended in midair. So this PCB will fall at, uh, after a certain amount of time has been elapsed. As part of this uh, test I also did some soldering to get a feel how these two tips behave if there are any differences and this may be subjective or inaccurate but to be honest I haven't noticed any difference they both behave in a similar way so here are my conclusions at the end of this test I did this small comparison table and I'm gonna go ahead and call it there are no obvious differences between these two certainly not something that would justify certainly not something that would justify paying five times as much plus shipping for the genuine tip one thing that i did not include uh, in my comparison however is the uh, quality of the materials used and the resulting wear and uh, tear over many hours of usage of these tips i'm not sure if the genuine tip is made of much higher quality materials but even so, is that enough to justify paying five times as much when the performance is similar? Certainly not for me and not at a hobby level in general. Now this does not mean that there are not bad tips out there. I'm pretty sure that if you go for the lowest possible price, you will find lower quality tips which perform worse. Myself, I'm going to be ordering more of these replacement tips. I'm quite happy with the results. Thank you for watching this video, let me know what you think in the comments below, maybe hit that like button and I will see you next week with a new video.